Maryland NAACP State Conference President Willie Flowers was the first to raise the threat of a black boycott of Ocean City, Maryland. If, if Ocean City doesn't want the money of young black men and they want to spend their time attacking them, using MMA moves on them when they're on the, on the ground, handcuffed, then maybe we shouldn't spend our money in Ocean City. The state's civil rights leaders are reacting to a pair of viral videos showing Ocean City police arresting teens in encounters that started with attempts by police to enforce a vaping ban on the boardwalk. I'm just glad it wasn't a gun. In an interview with WUSA 9, 18-year-old Tazir Griffin, who was tasered on June 6, said he believes race played a role. What about the the, the 50 other kids who are vaping and walking down the boardwalk and they're white kids and they're not saying nothing to them but they choose to say something to me. You know, this was a non-arrestable offense. Civil rights attorney Billy Murphy promised legal accountability. And I've been asked, Billy, why do the police keep doing this knowing that they're going to be on video camera and the subject of national outrage and protest? That's how deep the culture is. They just can't seem to help themselves. It's so deep. Well, we're going to help them. We're going to file every possible legal action against them that the law permits. Ocean City's mayor and police chief have promised an internal review of police officers' actions. Civil rights leaders here in Annapolis say those promises fall far too short. In Annapolis, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.